Ball and Calvin Cambridge. Yeah, yeah. The moment has arrived. Game seven of the NBA Finals. The Houston Rockets have reached the final destination. An epic journey is nearly complete. The opportunity to win the ultimate prize in a series that will go the distance. They must bring all they can muster against the Charlotte Hornets. Game seven of the NBA Finals. The biggest stars have aligned on the biggest night in basketball. This series has gone down to the wire. The air is thick with excitement and anticipation. Welcome everyone to NBA Finals Game 7. Winner take all. A season of joy and pain will end here tonight. And thank you for making us part of your night on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge from the sidelines. DA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin, some people questioned the contract that Terry Rozier got from the Hornets in 2019. But three years later, he earned an even bigger deal. He says, I work my tail off because that's all I know. The money will be there. I'm more excited that I can just show my talent every night, what I'm about, and who Terry Rozier really is. Kevin, back to you. Love the motor. DA, thanks. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. The guard pair, Ball and Rozier. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. And it's Richards in at the five, patrolling the paint. And for the Rockets, the post pairing for him, Smith along with Shengun. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. And it's Martin in at the small forward position. Tip off goes to Charlotte. Dishes to Hayward. Now, here's Rogier. He's covered closely. A wiry guard brings length and sneak up on you. Might have just surprised the shooter. Porter kicks to Green. Smith sets the pick for Green. The three-pointer no good. They're close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that's here. Rozier against Green. Washington passes to Hayward. Shot clock at five. There's the triple. Chengun with the rebound. On offense, here are the Rockets. Green deciding where to go with it. Rozier with the steal. Fader on the way. They get it again. And that one's good. Richard. Richard's got the first points up on the board tonight here for Charlotte. Porter passes to Shengu. Tries from 10. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks of his sleep. Rogier with a screen for ball. The kick out to Rogier. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Well, early in his career, you played Terry Rogier as a driver. Now you've got to deal with that three-point shooting ability. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Green against Rogier. Smith with a screen on Rogier. Out to Smith. And that one, good. Oh, love the determination Smith showed there. Refusing to let the contact alter his shot. Washington sets the pick for Rogier. Oh! My goodness. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. 
Outside, Green. Inside. Here's Shangun. And he comes up with the deuce. Shingun's got his second basket of the night. They're yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. And this is why you get the ball into his hands. Let him establish the pace and rhythm of the game. Now, here's ball. Rozier for three. And the three ball is good. Rozier's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Hornets. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong court. Ball against Porter. Smith on the wing. Outside, Martin. Porter outside. No good that time. And the Hornets now going the other way. They need to put the big loss on Tuesday in the back of their mind. Total embarrassment. I was shocked at how poorly they played. I think they were shocked. Well, frankly, they should be shocked. I mean, that kind of effort simply won't cut it in today's NBA. Let's see if they take any lessons from it. It's trailed by four. Outside, green. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Can't afford to let green get a lane because he'll force the defense to compromise right there. It's his first trip to the line. Two, green. Two shots. Both free throws good from Green. And once the G League took it to another level, Green skipped college, became the number two overall pick in the draft. And that's really changed the landscape. Now, here's Ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Rozier. They set the screen. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Smith finds Porter. Pass to Martin. Now, here's Green. Outside for Martin. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Oh, selfless play right there from Green. He's all about getting it to the open man. Pass it to Rozier. Here's Richards. And again, the Hornets missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Outside, Martin. In the corner, Smith with it. In the corner, Shangun with it. Outside, Martin. Or outside. Hornets with the rebound. Hayward dishes the ball. Rozier looking around. Over Porter. Porter with a block. Sending it back with postage. This is why every team is looking to add length to its lineup. If a floater. Yes, that goes in. Here is he. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. To the inside. Richards passes to Washington. And the basket is good. And I like how he draws the attention on the inside and then the nice little kick out in rhythm for the jumper. Rozier against Green. Sent back by Washington. Rozier finds Hayward. Back to Rozier. Charlotte moving the ball around. Ball the pass to Hayward. Washington sets the pick for Hayward. That's five to shoot. And they take the lead. Boy, that's skill because you've got to stay locked in on the basket and not allow the physicality or the close defense to affect your game. Really great stuff from Hayward. Now, here's Green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Terry Rozier. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. 
the line for Houston. Free throw drops for Green. Green. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Williams is checked in for Nick Richard. Cody Martin comes in for Gordon Hayward. Oubre is checked in for Ogier. And it's Dennis Smith in for ball. Now here is Smith. Knocks it loose. Washington with the screen on green. It's Martin on the wing. Cans it from downtown. And the Hornets lead by two. Excellent recognition from Kelly Oubre right there. So solid sensing when one of his guys is open. Green. No good. And the Hornets now going the other way. And here's Smith. Williams a screen on Green. Smith kicks to Williams. Over Green. A shot by Williams. No good. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. And there's the pass to Garuba. Addition now to Green. Shot from the top of the key. And stolen by Williams. Smith against Green. Now here is Smith. Not a lot of room. The shot from the low post is good. Now it's a four-point Charlotte lead. Boy, you have to absorb the bump on the jump shot, and Dennis Smith Jr. still able to deliver. That is not easy, folks. Christopher, that's good. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for Charlotte. It's to Washington. Oubre outside. the shot and picks up two points so one free throw coming up you're going to have to hit Oubre hard to prevent the bucket boy if you don't he's going to play through it and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for sure absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one the defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on and they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight really putting the work in down low and this game already taking shape as an offensive battle. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. Now, oh, here's Oubre. Pass to Washington. The shot, no good. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Smith. Ray outside. Green against Smith. For three. Oubre. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Well, you have to respect how fast Kelly Oubre gets a shot off in catch and shoot situations. Rockets trail by six. 149 left to play in the first. Christopher, that's good. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. Williams has a screen for Smith. And it's blocked. Here's Christopher, covered by Oubre. Here's Washington. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. How about battling through the impact there? It's making a change here. Kaminsky's checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Hope Knight's checked in. Covered by Oubre. Rocket six. This is to Kaminsky. Again, the Rocket score. You have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Charlotte leading by five. Oubre outside. They set the pick. And it's blocked. Tries again. And that one, good. Oubre has got eight points. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. This is it to Christopher. To the middle. Some nice passing there by Houston. Down low, Oubre with the steal. 
Here's Washington. He takes it in. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. Twenty-three seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Christopher. He has six. From deep. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Hornets lead by nine. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. Three, two. Game seven as this series comes to a head. And let's quickly break down the game, guys. We've been watching from the Hornets. Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And a few of those led to quick scores at the other end. Really active first quarter for them. It's trailed by nine. Martin is out there with Smith. Then it's Porter. Then it's Frank Kaminsky. And it's Christopher in at the two spot. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Now here's Porter. Five on the clock. Rebound by Williams. Charlotte has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Now here's Bookman. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Porter looking it over. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's on Kelly Oubre. Look at Porter going into attack mode. Getting his shot and a trip to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Houston making a switch. Shen Goon's checked in. Free throw good. Porter. Hornets leading by six. And here is Booknight. Kicks it to ball. Williams dishes the ball. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the Hornets making a change here. Rogier's checked in. LaMelo Ball, a guy who is so unique in terms of his frame and the game, but boy, the potential is limitless. Porter passes to Christopher. To the paint, here's Smith, and Smith with the stop. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. So it's the Hornets. The pass to Uber. Williams, a screen on Martin. Here's Oubre. And he banks in the layup. Oubre has got the lead up to nine now for the Hornets. Well, how about the length and athletic ability of Kelly Oubre Jr.? Go ahead in there. And it's Porter with the ball for the Houston Rockets. Pass to Shengu. Over Williams. Shengu, no good. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. A word against Smith. Oubre for three. Porter pulls it in. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Charlotte. Hayward's got four rebounds now tonight. He kicks it to ball. Back to Hayward. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. It's blocked. Oubre against Martin. Now Porter. Five points in the game. Here's Shengu. Williams with the block. Out of bounds. Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. 
<laughs> well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Outside, Mark. Another miss by Houston. Hornets leading by nine. Ball, the pass to Rozier. Three-pointer. Shengun with the rebound. For Houston, they've gone only two of seven for the field since the second quarter got underway. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. And how about Porter Jr.'s court awareness? Excellent job between the open man with the pass. Williams has a screen for Rozier. Misses off the left iron. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Shengun passes to Smith. Good on the shot, and with that, the Charlotte lead is cut to just five on the basket from Porter. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Rozier with the ball. He's got eight. Williams kicks the ball. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Ball's got five now. Wow, the agility to beat the contact. Such a clever move by LaMelo Ball. Porter passes to Christopher. To the middle. Boom, he jams it straight down. And he just powered that one of the game's top dunkers. Here's Rogier. Williams, a screen on court. Ball, the pass to Williams. The kick out to Rogier. Four on the shot clock. Charity strike shot. It's rebounded by Houston. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Shingu. Williams with the block. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Jalen Green's checked in for the Rockets. Nick Richards, he's checked in for the Hornets. Hornets leading by five. Outside, ball. Williams has a screen for ball. It's taken away by Smith. Bobbed up there for Green. Covered by Martin. And Charlotte turns it over again. For Houston, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Now, here's Porter. He has seven. And that one drops for him. Porter's got seven points here in this quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Hornets have gone just 33% for the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. That's three of nine. Richards passes the ball. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. You love the fact that LaMelo ball is not timid about drawing contact on the interior. Get that foul drawn, LaMelo. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Smith checked in for Terry Rozier. Ball hits them both. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. And here's Porter. He's got nine. Here's Shengu. Right through the D for the layup. Shingun's got 10. Man, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Here's Ball. Green with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. Washington's checked in for the Hornets. Cody Martin comes in for Gordon Hayward. Rockets trail by three. Now Porter. And the rejection by Smith. Wow, you don't see Dennis Smith Jr. block a shot every game. But man, he's got some vertical. 
The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiated thus far. Now, here's Ball. Seven points in the game. And the shot goes in. Richard. Richard's got his second basket of the game. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. To the inside. And he goes in for the jump. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. And so it's Charlotte with it. Washington with it. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Not an easy finish right there, but a beautiful move to give himself just enough space to get in close and knock it down. Charlotte shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. Tate, he's checked in for the Rockets. Hook Knight, he's checked in for the Hornets. Now here's Porter. He's got nine. That shot off the mark. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Now here's Bookman. Guarded by Porter. Got a hand on it. Another shot. That's tipped. Inside. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got six assists in the game. Charlotte in the lead. Here's Book Knight. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And that one's good. Richard. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And it's the Rockets with the ball. Following the bucket by the Hornets. A fader. The rebound by Richard. Richard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now here's Bookman. He's guarded close. Over Green. Book night, no good. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot, just didn't fall there. Now here's Green. Pass to Garuba. Shot clock at six. And some nice passing there by Houston. Porter, no luck. And when you as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Takes a step back. Smith for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Smith's got five now. Such strong footwork from Dennis Smith Jr. I mean, what an advantage. He puts the defender off balance and gets into his shot. Nice. Teardrop shot. Not a piece of it. Outside, Mark. Passes it to Book Knight. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Washington with the screen on board. Here's Smith. Oh, that's blocked. Pass to Garuba. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. Kaminsky is checked in for Porter. Both good from the line that time. Hornets leading by four. And here is Book Knight. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Smith scanning the floor. Down low. Richards passes to Smith. Fires the three. Smith missing again. Houston's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And Green gets it to go. Even thinking about it, when Green is catching and firing like that, 
you know he's feeling it. 112 left to play in the first half. Here's Book Knight. For Kaminsky, it's deflected. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Fades away. Bucket is good. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Outside, Mark. Pass to Richards. Kicks to Smith. Martin with the bounce pass. There's a screen by Washington. Here's Book Knight. It's tipped, and they'll keep possession. Washington, that's good. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Green against Smith. Now here's Green. Tight defense on him. Kaminsky is screen on Smith. Just five on the clock. Here's Green, and Houston again with the bucket. Putting his size to use. Green's got great length, and it helps him there inside. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Houston on top, leading by just one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Clifford. What was the biggest problem for your guys in the first half? Well, you know what? We're a defensive team first, and we've been good defensively. We've been organized. We weren't that in that first half, and that's what we got to concentrate on to get the game going back our way. See if you revert back to your form in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Greetings one and all, the postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Charlotte Hornets. Something that's really helping them is the second chance points. Not settling for one and done, these guys want it and they're getting it. Have to love the effort they've shown tonight. And looking at where the Hornets stand in the series. Game seven. We know how much is at stake. Kenny, what's it like to play in one of these? Well, it, it's normal to have some nerves. Now, I'm, I'm, you can't shake those off, but those butterflies, they quickly remove when the game starts. Normally, guys get better in the second half. First of all, uh, Ernie, you shouldn't be asking an earthling that question because me, I never got nervous. I instilled fear in my opponents. So let's see who's built for this pressure. The Diesel pulling no punches, as usual. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And it's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Houston Rockets. It's a one-point game. Tipping off the second half, here's Steve Clifford's five. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. The guard pair, Ball and Rozier. And it's Richards in the center position. Now Rozier, following the miss by Jabari Smith from deep. Richards passes the ball. Six on the shot clock. Over in the corner, Rozier. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Rozier's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Hornets. There's a good screen. Green passes to Shengu. Smith inside. Ended by Hayward. Count it and the foul. And it's going to go on Gordon Hayward. Yeah, scouts have said Smith needs to get stronger, and maybe that's the case, but well, he sure muscled that one in. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Charlotte trailing. Ball feeling it out of it. Off target with his three. 
Rockets have gone one of three since starting the second half. Green dishes to Porter. Pass to Smith. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Shangoon. Hornets with the rebound. Richards got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Now, here's Ball. He has seven. Yep, it counts. Well, you have to be willing to take what the defender gives you. Lamella Ball gets into that mid-range, makes the defender pay. Smith sets the pick for Porter. Shoots over Ball. Over to the left wing. Shingun with the bucket. Shingun's got 13. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Passes it to Richards. Back to Ball. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. He's made all three of his free throws so far. The Rockets trail. Now Porter. He's got 11. Inside. Shingun. And Ball with the block. Well, you love the 6-7 length that LaMelo Ball brings as a defender. Just gets a hand on that and sends it back. Washington finds Ball. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. And the Rockets making a change here. Christopher's checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Williams, he's checked in for Nick Richards. Outside, Porter. Six to shoot. And no good. Excellent D there from Ball. And the points coming for them now, Craig and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high team offense should look like. Washington, that's good. I tell you, the vision is simply special. LaMelo Ball toys with the defense, creates easy opportunities for his teammates. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Quarter with it. 11 points in the game. For Houston, they have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. Hornets leading by four. Ogier the pass to Williams. Here's Ball. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his sixth assist on the night. Now here's Porter. From the arc. Hits it from three-point range. Porter's got 14. They've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Ogier, the pass to Williams. Outside, ball. Throws it up high. And then Washington with the dunk. That's just great recognition by LaMelo Ball. The pinpoint accuracy makes it easy for his teammate. Rockets trail by six. And the pass to Shengu. Looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Hornets have gotten nearly everything to drop this court. There's seven of eight from the four since halftime. Ball, the best 
to Williams. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Oubre is checked in for Charlotte. Here's Rogier. He's tightly guarded. In order to space the floor effectively for his teammates, he has to finish that one, guys. Smith for three. Rebound by Williams. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Here's Hayward. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. Hayward's got his second bucket of the night. Attacking right there. Hayward using the strength that he has built up over the years to finish through contact. And here's Porter. He's got 14. Pass to Smith. Outside, Martin. Shangoon with the ball. He's against Williams. Shangoon kicks to Martin. Just four to shoot. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. Hornets leading by six. Ball up top, guarded by Porter. Oubre for three. Shengun with the rebound. Shengun's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. As he's gotten older, we've seen KPJ become a willing passer. Charlotte has got the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. Williams dishes the ball. And it's off from three-point range. Houston's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Porter passes to Christopher. Driving inside. Here's Shengu. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And now, just a two-point Hornets lead. For Charlotte, they've gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Williams, a screen on Porter. Ball with it, now guarded by Porter. A shot by Hayward, wide open. That falls, nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got assist number eight here in this one already. Porter passes to Christopher. Here's Shengun. Williams with the block. Oubre on the wing. Covered by Mark. Oubre kicks to Rozier. Off target from outside. It's trailed by five. Smith the pass to Porter. And some nice passing there by Houston. Martin with the screen for Smith. Back to Martin. Pass to Shengu. Five to shoot. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Shengun's got 12 now in this quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Here's Paul at basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Now, this is just a big-time offensive performance from a young LaMelo Ball. He's already put the league on notice. Now a timeout called by Houston. Some changes for Charlotte. Cody Martin comes in for Terry Rozier, and Book Knight comes in for Ball. Pass to Christopher. Shoots over Book Knight, and the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Christopher. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. Here's Book Knight. No points in the game yet for him. Oubre can't get it to go. 
Tate the pass to Christopher. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. The pass to Williams. To the inside. Gets the bucket and the foul. Frank Kaminsky picks one up. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Charlotte. They're doing damage from the mid-range. Not sure if that was the game plan or if they're just taking what the defense gives them. But thus far, it's paying off. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. And so here's Charlotte. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Hayward finds Oubre. Here's Booknight. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Oh, Tate. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. To the left side lane. Tate is screen on Oubre. Here's Christopher. On the clock. Shoots over Book Knight. Christopher, no good. Charlotte in the lead. Hayward with the ball. He's got seven. Back to Williams. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Poked away and stolen by Williams. Kicks it to Hayward. A three-pointer is right on target. And now a seven-point Charlotte lead. Well, it's an area that Gordon Hayward has come a long way in. That textbook form when he sets up from range is a thing of beauty. Outside, Green. Pass to Christopher. To the middle. Uses the glass to finish the lane. He's got nine. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. 59 seconds left to play in the third. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Kevin Porter's checked in for Houston. The well, Hornets also changing it up. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Williams. Washington comes in for Cody Martin. And Smith subbed in for Bookman. Now, here is Smith. He has five. Pass to Hayward. Shot clock at six. Here's Richards. And the layup's good off the glass. Richards got eight points. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Kaminsky sets the pick for Porter. The feed now to Kaminsky. Oh, and the slam dunk by Kaminsky. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Oubre. The Rockets making the shot. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Now that's the lefty stroke of Oubre, right? He can hit from mid-range right on out to deep three-point range. And Green gets it to go. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Leading by five. Oubre kicks to Hayward. Shoots over Tate. Lamelo ball getting it done for Charlotte. He was a true standout at the offensive end, both with his scoring and his passing. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Let's make some. 
We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Hornets leading by five. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. The post pairing for him, Smith along with Shingu. And it's Martin in at the three spot. It's the five for Houston right now. Rozier in a real rhythm offensively, and that's problematic for the defense. And for Houston, they're shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. There's a screen. Outside, Martin. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Shengu. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The line for Houston. The free throw dropped for Shengu. Shengu hits them both. He's forcing the action now. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Passes to Rogier. There's the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Balls. Three balls got nine assists now tonight. Now here's Green to the paint. Stolen by Washington. Down low. And finished off by Oubre. Well, Oubre has the kind of athleticism that makes that an easy play. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. And here's Porter to the inside. Tonight. Here's Washington. Hot pass to Oubre. An emphatic L.U. jam. Well, there's a chemistry with this group, and Oubre makes that finish look easy. Rockets trail by 12. On the wing, Porter. He's covered by ball. Smith the pass to Shengu. The kick out to Porter. And just miss after miss right now. For Charlotte, they've done a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Ball got it. Number 7 on the night. 7 for 11 from the floor. Well, the great length and the great size of the backcourt. LaMelo Ball continues to improve as an interior scorer. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. There's the pick. Smith finds Shangoon. The Hornets pull it in. Richards got rebound number eight now on the night. Now the pass to Ball. Six on the shot clock. Up top, Washington. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Rockets trail by 17. Timeout called. The Rockets. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to. And now we present our new balance player of the game. LaMelo Ball. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. His performance tonight will be mentioned in the first line of his biography. Game 7, NBA Finals. And he seals his MVP status with a fantastic game. How proud he must be. Hornets leading by 15. Ball kicks to Rozier. Washington sets the pick for Rozier. And that one goes long. The Rockets have gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. Rozier against Green. Rocket six from 11 feet away. Buries the jump shot. Oh, nice mid-range. 
Jalen Green, I, I didn't know guys born in 2002 knew about that area of the floor. Now, here's Ball. From 11 feet away, again, the Hornets score. And what a half for this offense. If they can stay this high, a great chance to extend this lead. Smith with a screen on Rozier. Green against Rozier. Green, the pass to Martin. From deep three-point range, and Rozier pulls it down. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Outside, ball. Williams sets a screen for ball. No points to be had here. Misses for the fifth time in 13 tries. Martin wide open. He fires. Hangs on the trifecta. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. 17 points was their biggest margin. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Yes, sir. LaMelo Ball has handles, folks. He can get where he wants to on the floor. What a move. Smith with a screen on Rogier. Count that one. Green's got four points this quarter. I'll tell you, tough first half puts it in the rear view. The shooting percentage starting to reflect that. Rogier finds Ball. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Ball's got 24 points. What a finish by LaMelo Ball. Thin frame, but that length at 6'7". He can mix it up now. Gets trailed by 14. Pass to Green. And Green slams it in. You've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Charlotte has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Ogier the pass to Williams. He dishes it to Ball. And he makes good on the layup. He's got 26. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Here is Porter. Feeds to Green. And Green slams it in. Look at Green just taking off and throwing it down right in the face of the defense. Hornets leading by 12. Now ball. Elbow shot is on the way. That one good for two. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Pass to Shengun. Unloads from nine. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Here's Ball. Oubre outside. Williams a screen on Martin. Oubre gets to Roche here. Six to shoot. Williams a screen on point. Here's Ball off the left rim and up. It's trailed by 12. Smith sets the pick for Green. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. And uh, the Hornets shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. And the shot is good. Washington's got 21. I tell you, he's making everything he looks at tonight. He should be their number one option on every possession. Green with the ball. Picked up by Rozier. And we see this all night. Green with a wide range of ways to score. And boy, he just keeps coming. Hornets leading by 12. Oubre with it. This is it to Rozier. The dish to ball. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. 30 points for LaMelo Ball. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Houston's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Ball against Porter. 
Outside Green. Smith with a screen on Rogier. Smith the pass to Porter. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the lob to the hoop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Following the score by Houston. Ball against Porter. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got 32 points in the game. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. I'll tell you, what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. And some changes here for the Hornets. Nick Richards. He's checked in for Williams. And Gordon Hayward is subbed in for Oubre. Now, here's Rogier. Here's Paul. Porter with a block. And they get it back. This guy has great presence of mind. Gordon Hayward will take a pounding. He embraces a chance to get some free ones from the foul line. First free throw is good. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. Hayward hits them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Green draws the double. Here's Shengu. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Now here's Hayward. Here's the pass to Rogier. Tries the spin move. Ball finds Rogier. There's a screen by Washington. And it's Rogier missing. It's trailed by 11. Back to Porter. On deep. No good that time. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. A relentless defender. Smith proving how disruptive he can be on that end. Porter kicks to Smith. Pass to Green. Houston moving it around. Outside for Martin. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Martin's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Houston. Pass to Richards. Back to Rozier. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. But Terry Rozier has more than proven he's very capable of being a starter. Can score it, excellent facilitator, and brings an edge every time he touches the floor. Both free throws, good for Rogier. Here's Green. One oh six left here in the fourth quarter, and it's slammed in by Smith. And how about the force on that finish by Smith? One oh three left in the fourth quarter. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Charlotte. Eight-point game to the middle. Here's Washington. And the rejection by Smith. Green passes to Shengu. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Thirty-nine seconds left in the fourth, and here is Rozier. Passes it to Ball. Washington sets the pick for Ball, and the Hornets miss again. And so here is Houston, trailing here by eight. There's Porter with the three. It falls. 
Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And you can see why they go to Porter Jr. He knows how to get it done in the clutch. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Third personal foul. Third team foul. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a seven-point game. Well, it's about the little details. Capitalize at the free throw line, add to your lead. Timeout call for Rockets. They trail by seven. We've got 13 seconds left in the game. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's good from beyond the arc. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Charlotte calls timeout. They're in front by four. 11 seconds left to play here in the fourth. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. That, that's right. No other option but the foul. And this. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're trailing by six. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. Knocks down the three. Well, more and more, you see big men working on the outside shot, and this guy has one of the better ones in the league. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But guys, you know this. The team counts on LaMelo Ball right here. Time to step up and take care of business. And they've done it. The Charlotte Hornets have won the NBA championship. Oh, to be crowned a champion on the road is something else. To win and to do it with a crowd that was so emotional and so into this game, you've beaten the team and you've conquered everything that this great arena holds. Yeah, it's a bittersweet moment for the home crowd. But our full credit to the victors and the amazing job they did to never lose focus or drive. And boy, this is the moment they've been working towards all season long. And even though they don't get to celebrate in front of their own fans, does not take away from the satisfaction. Let's take you to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver doing the honors. One team has emerged victorious. Congratulations to the whole organization, of course, this incredible team. This Larry O'Brien trophy, and I believe this suitcase, are yours. You're Bill Russell, Finals MVP. When you talk about the most valuable player in the finals, I don't think you're going to see anybody who has had as much impact as he has to help win this championship. And we've enjoyed bringing you every minute of the action here on 2K Sports. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next season.